Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Dear Red, the extended edition. Dear Red is about a girl who seeks her mother's killer, who only has two choices, truth or lying. Dad told me mom passed away when I was six. Being young and ignorant, I thought she died due to sickness. But now, I have matured. I recognize that the images I saw then, though blurry and unclear, were that of a knife and a corpse. I gradually understood everything, why Dad always tells me that revenge is not good, and why I must always be a kind and tolerant person. He also said, happiness and joy would come to me if I helped other people. And now, I'm helping myself, to your death. Come on, girl. Find it. Don't let it take you down. Why well, is the same murderer? Don't worry, father. I'll soon recover. That's my girl. Is that is that an error or is the father the murderer? Hey, Dad. I promise that you won't leave me, please. Why'd you say that? Last night. I dreamt that you left, and abandoned me. Mommy, then Daddy. I don't want... It's alright. I won't leave, and you won't be alone. Promise? Promise. Heh. <laughs> then I can be sure. Sleep, Anna. I'll go make you lunch. Yes. I'm really wondering if this is a bug. Come on, Anna. I can't lose you. So why would I say murderer right off the bat? Unless he's the murderer. Oh, yeah. He's the murderer. So this is where he lives. A cute little cottage in the forest. He can still be so carefree after doing that to my mother. Shameful. He must be living a very happy life, that murderer. But that won't last long. Let's cut to the chase. Anything over here? Any secrets? No. Yeah, let's just cut to the chase and go inside. We just get barge right in. Get this over with. You're not the one I will seek. I seek your father. Are you looking for Dan? Kill the murderer. Dear Ren. That's it. That's the first ending, I'm assuming. So this is one of those games where every ending is really short, and the game itself is very short, but it most multiple variations, kind of like uh, another game I played, which was Hello, Hello, where every ending was about two minutes to reach, but there was about a hundred of them. But yeah, we're a murderer. But it's okay, because we're helping ourselves. Let's see what happens if we go up here and talk to her instead. We'll go to the girl instead. Let's, well, let's try leaving. That could be an ending in itself. Nope. We're here for a purpose, and that's murder. You are. Anna, I'm Daddy's daughter. Why does your father live here, Anna? I always wanted to live in a fairy tale like forest, and he agreed. If so, then why aren't you out there playing? Running, and feeling the fairy tale atmosphere you wished for. I really want to, but I'm sick. However, I'm not worried at all because I know Dad is trying his best to cure me. <laughs> I'll cure him, alright. 
cure him of the living. Have you been sick for long? Um, for quite long already. From when we were still in the old house. Are we secretly sisters? Why are you holding a knife? Ah, uh, this... Let's just try telling the truth. I'm sorry, Anna. In the past, your father and I weren't too friendly with each other. I plan to... Kill him. To avenge the person he killed when I was little. You... You can't do that. Daddy's a nice guy. He'll feel nice on my knife. Oh, he's a bad guy. You just don't know it yet. He tricked you your whole life. No! I really like you, Anna. But I can't forgive your father. Sleep, Anna. Just for a while, and everything will be fine. Dad! Daddy! Stop screaming. Daddy! D did I tell you to stop? We're gonna murder, aren't we? Oh no. I, I... I... I didn't mean to do that to you, Anna. I, I, I'm sorry, Anna. Sure, turn around. You just got stealth jumped. Oh god. No, we're alive. We're tied up. Great. Let's try untrying the rope. Luckily, he didn't tie my legs. Or maybe he's too stupid to think that up. Found it. So many things going off... off screen. So we're down a whole nother route. Little Red Riding Hood and Cinderella. I think we just murdered Cinderella. Any clues? Any notes? Files of patient number 18A5B4, amnesia, and some other stuff. Maybe the father has amnesia. So yet he is a good person now. Balcony. Where'd you go? Just need to stab you tonight. Gonna stab you. Why did you do that, Red? She has nothing to do with this. Her sickness. I only want her to pass on the easiest way, with her father by her side before she... Kill. That was just an accident. I never intended to harm her. You do know the only one I want to kill is you, right? Ever since you killed Mom. Ever since Dad died. I had to raise myself in hatred. For you. Red. I wish everything was so simple. Since you were young, you never seemed normal. After that, something happened to your mother. Did I murder my mother? Oh no. It's true. Your father didn't want you to live in misery. So he asked me to conduct an experiment. To give you a happy life. I'm dead, aren't I? I suppose I'm happy of a sorts. Now no one's happy. Only the dead. Random symbolic crow. Now 
everyone's gone. Huh. That's a hole in the symbol there. Being being shot in the head. Just realize that now. Is Ren all right? No. She's still shocked. Since that day, she hasn't swallowed anything. Just lying in her bed crying with a stone-cold face. What are you going to do? Maybe... We should create a fake scene. And erase that part of her memory. Are you sure? Because this might affect Red strongly if she discovers the truth. And this must be discreet. The injured daughter always want to live in a fairy tale forest. What do you mean? Help me be the killer, the one who killed my wife. Then run far, far away. Fulfill your daughter's dream, and help my daughter not to drown in misery. But if she thinks I'm the killer, my family will be in danger, you know. I'll try to help Red calm down and realize everything. But if I'm not successful, and one day she stands in front of you, of your door, kill her. So definitely, I'm 100% sure Red is the killer. Alright, let's try the other option. Go, Red. Go back home. Your revenge is success. Go! We'll just try leaving. Much of the kill option was the same as the previous one. Oh, so it's giving me a different outcome. Are you happy, Ren? All I see is Red now. Two crosses. It's been a while. Mom! I'm coming, Anna. She named her daughter after Anna. Real ending. Well, I guess it's a true end. Now let's try knocking. I'm probably just gonna get shot. Coming. You are. Remember me. I'm afraid I don't get what you mean. Stop feigning innocence. Don't you remember the woman of a child called Red that you killed? What the heck? You're nuts! I never hurt anyone. Remember now? This is your tool of murder. 
How I use it to cut off your limbs. Make you stay stuck between hell and Mialni. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, wait. You're mistaken. Say that to Mom. Please. I have a daughter. She needs me. Please. Oh. When my mother died, she had me too. Didn't you pity me? Technically, he did. Anna. Don't run. Good. Run. It's no good without resistance. Anna, dear, wake up! We have to get out of here! What's wrong? We have to leave now. There's a walking yandere stereotype out the front door. Just give her a senpai and she'll go away. Not that kind! Do nothing. I wonder if there's another way to go in. I don't know about. Probably not. Where are you all hiding? Oh, you went out the... No, it could be fake. You're still in here, aren't you? We'll find you eventually. Oh, no, 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 maybe they're gone. Yep, they're gone. No, not even any credits, wow. This is the Scream Awkward Killer ending. So we're gonna try knocking again, and then we're gonna do the other option. Lying. Ruby. No relation to that series on the internet. I think I'm lost. Can you help me find my way home? Oh, how rare. People barely pass by this place and now they're lost. <laughs> It'll be hard, but I'll try my best. First, let's get inside. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you're so dead. Sorry. I didn't think I'd have a guest in the middle of nowhere, so I didn't build any rooms. That's weird. It's okay. I don't want to be a bother either. I just want your plan. I'm making lunch for my daughter, Anna. Would you mind waiting a bit? That's fine. I can wait. After all, that's your daughter. You can't just leave her. Thank you, Ruby. So you and your daughter live here by yourselves? Why are you living in such a place? It happened long ago. Right when my wife passed away, Anna fell ill. Anna's disease is incurable, so I want to fulfill her wishes before she... I understand. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't press on about these matters. Oh, hey, Ruby. What's your business getting lost here? Oh, you know. Murder. Uh, murder, lying, stabbing, hiding bodies, man, getting a pizza. Look at these options. I'm on a mission. I'm just on a mission. A mission? Freelance work. Taking requests to uh, earn money. Ah, my luck dependent job. This world, swindlers everywhere. Lies are always hitting people's faces. My family is poor, so luck might be unimportant. As long as there is a number, I'll do it. I don't know what to say, but be careful, Ruby. People who do those works voluntarily may get trapped in misery for their whole lives. Good talk, good talk. Probably bring a gun and shoot me, though. I finished cooking. Wait until I fed Anna. My knife. I guess I'm hiding it in here. Being a little stealthy. He's feeding the little girl. What's this? A wine bottle of red fluid is leaking out? He's a doctor. The rest seems to be a research in ways to cure his daughter. 
open the small box. He seems to really love his daughter. Maybe we're gonna have like a, a little bit of a conscious shift in this ending. Wolf Granny. Unheard stories. Photos of a woman. His wife, probably. Else, only his toolkit, and... And... This can't be... This photo... Dad... And him... They know each other. What are you doing in here? Tell the truth for now. But why do you have this photo? Run. There's always a reason for you being here. I know everything. Poor you. You've never been happy. We failed. Your father's probably dead now. I'm sorry. But this is what he's wanted. You're shooting me, aren't you? Yep. There's the white flash. I get shot a lot. It's a bad habit. Let's try lying this time. Lie. Nothing. I was just curious. Wanted to check and steal your money. That's a normal thing, right? You don't have to lie anymore, Red. When you've got all the pieces, the answer will be revealed. But when you have known the answer, will you not kill yourself? What do you mean? No more lies, Red. Forgive me. I'm just doing what he told me to. Alright, let's see if we get something else. I just moved here. My family just moved here. Oh, really? All the way out here? I wanted to look around, but unfortunately... No, you're lucky since now you have someone to escort you home. Yes. Huh, Ruby. Did you know that I know this area like the back of my hand? What do you mean? Means every day, I scan around the whole area to pick up Anna's favorite flowers. And you know what? There aren't any other houses around here. Oof. Surely you haven't been through the whole forest. Oh, no, I know this place. And I know I've lived long enough to know what a liar's like. Oh boy. Wait, what are you doing? You're crazy! You can't just listen to a few lines and decide that they're lies, and point a rifle towards someone else? Well, he obviously knows you're here to murder him. So he actually can. Silence. I knew that one day you'd come, and do these silly things. Red. Continue lying. Red? My name's Ruby. Did you forget? I'm just here to steal your money. Just let me go, man. I speak the truth. Please, believe me. You know, like you got some gold hidden here, right? Some pirate gold? I'm just here for that. Just let me go. Oh, Red. You think I don't know you? I know you very well. In fact, I know that you can't recall your mother's face. And you always wonder how that can be. Even more, you're always looking for your mother's photos. The results are always zero. You want to know why I know so much. The one who killed your mother never knew what I said. The one who killed your mother was you. Alright, let's try telling the truth. Quick to realize, aren't you? You will recognize your kin. So right. What are you doing here, Red? Oh, nothing. Just visiting my neighbors, with a knife, and a wicked smile. But looks like this neighbor isn't as friendly as he seems. I guess your father's dead, right? That's the only way you come looking for me. Oh, look who's stalking others. 
I have no need to talk stock. I know more about your family than you think. In fact, I know that you can't recall your mother's face, and you always wonder how that can be. Pretty much the same ending, it looks like. Even more, you're always looking for your mother's photos, but the results are always zero. Why do you know that? Simple, Tyrant. The one who killed your mother never know what I say. The one who killed your mother was me once again. I mean you, forever. Looks like you'll have to meet and ask him about everything. Okay, I arrived quicker this time, so I actually caught him. Thought you ran away with your daughter. You want to kill me, right, Red? What a superfluous question. Alright, but can you help me with one thing? Asking for help from someone who has a grudge against you. Nice. I know you won't abandon a child with circumstances like that of a young you. How can you be so sure? I might just kill her, after having taken care of you. No, you won't do that. Oh, as if you really know me that well. But don't worry, I won't leave little Anna by herself. Thank you, Ren. Did I get shot? Maybe we'll see something after the credits. Just taking a walk, man. Enjoying the flowers. Just taking a uh, morning walk. Well, that's weird. Choosing this desolate place. Oh, you know, I just like seeing red. A lot of, you know, a lot of red, red flowers around here. My city life isn't going very well. I only wanted to go somewhere quiet, where I wouldn't be bothered by anything. Wow, you're deeper than I thought. Yes. Snippity snappity, stabbity stabbity. Food's here. Okay, now we're eating with them. Now how's it? Ha, <laughs> I like it. You're getting better every day. Does that mean I cook badly at first? Ha. <laughs> ah, who's she? Hi, I'm your local murderer. Don't mind me, I'm just crazy. She's Ruby. I promise to take her home. Ruby's pretty. Yes, I am. Ah, uh, um, thanks. I get well soon, Anna. Maybe I should go. Rest, Anna. I'll be right back. Bye bye. Thank you for being here, Ruby. You may be just visiting. But you sure brighten the atmosphere. You're gonna shoot me as I walk away, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> Sorry if I said something weird. I tend to speak whatever comes to mind. Maybe I shouldn't have worn red when my name is Red. It's kind of obvious. Now, try to remember which way you came from. Follow me. No. I mean, yes. Am I mistaken? Is he really the guy I'm looking for? And if that's him, then... Is what I'm about to do meaningless? Probably. Yes. No. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, we came back at night, wow. Come on north. Get to work. No, we came to get back and leave? Interesting. Maybe... It's better like this. It really is. So... The only other variations I can think of we haven't gotten yet are the ones involving just 
Oh, we haven't gone directly to Anna. Red. Kill. That was quick. You could say that we were ready to kill him. So I guess there's two variations if we walked directly to Anna. And there's another variation where we stayed tied up. But there's also a bunch of variations we haven't gotten that involve lying to Anna. Who's this girl? Truth. Hi. I'm here to avenge my mother. But oh, wait. Well, that's the same outcome either way. Now let's try lying this time. Nothing. I'm here, uh, let me cut some cake for you. Just something someone asked me to fetch. Sorry for waking you up. Sleep, Anna. Uh, yes. That was easy. Ah. I still don't know your name. Ruby. Ruby. I'm Ruby. Wow! What a beautiful name. I bet a bunch of people will make references in the comments. I really like you, Ruby and Achan. Sleep, Anna. Once again. You should really go to sleep. Stop bothering me. I guess we chickened out this time. Let's try staying still. I think it might be the last ending variation we have. Why did you kill my daughter, Red? Why? I should have never agreed to your father's stupid deal. I'm a fool. Just because I wanted to save you, that everything was taken away. Even Anna. But don't worry. I have a way to see Anna again. And I have to make sure when I get down there, I won't see you. Wait for me, Anna. Just a few more minutes. That was not ending. I guess he committed suicide and just left us tied up there. So he wouldn't see us down there in hell. Weird. I think there's a few more variations. We're gonna try getting him. But I think they're like very specific in getting. R Red. Hi. You sure have a cute daughter. Then do you know why I'm here? Don't do anything foolish, Ren. Or else, your memories will burden you forever. I don't think so. Success in killing you. Worth celebrating. Don't you think your father will be disappointed? Didn't he always tell you not to hold on to grudges? Silence! Don't try to shake me. I won't change my decision. Daddy! Listen, Anna, you didn't see anything. Stop, stop right there, you evil witch. Wrong game, that's the witch's house. Give daddy back. Now you too will seek down the cycle of revenge. But actually, you won't live long, so it really doesn't matter. Dad, did you promise not to leave me behind? What do I do now? Daddy... Dear Ren, different ending this time. Just kill. 
And that's it. Kill ending. You just rush up, get the job done, and that's it. I actually debate whether or not you're getting shot in a lot of those endings. Like he pulls out the gun at the last minute and blows your brains out. Probably not, because it seems like it appears in every ending no matter what, except for that last one. So I believe that's all the endings. I was keeping count, and I think that's 17, which is the ending count. But there is a series of notes in the folder for the game, which I'm going to show here. I'm not sure if you can by unlocking the endings or if they're there in the first place, but I'm going to show them real quick. Small talk before she's gone. I can't do this. I did what you told me to. So this day has finally come. No one should have the same fate as me. Blank. Does that mean... I don't want things to be like this. Blank. This is for the best. I'm ready for my crime. Blank. I can't go back anymore. It's time to end this sadness. What have I done? A little girl. I'm sorry for everything. So that's it for Dear Red. Uh, there's a little subtitle in there. Be a good girl and everyone will love you. Um, you see in most of the endings, it's pretty much the same outcome. Red either dies or everyone else dies. Uh, only in one ending do you have a general idea of what happened, which is, of course, I'm assuming Red murdered her mother. She's crazy or something like that. And the father and this doctor have this plan where they're like, they trick her and make her think someone else murdered her mother, that the doctor murdered her or something, they, some stranger. So Red has his memory of that, and that's what the father keeps telling her, don't give in to revenge, just live a happy life and enjoy the fact that you're alive. Of course, the father dies, then Red never follows his advice, goes, tracks down the doctor, and these series of events happen. The real ending is she does murder the doctor, and she murders Anna, buries him out front, then comes back later to kind of pay her respects, and I guess she names her daughter after Anna? Um... Not exactly a happy ending, but that's just how it is. I don't know what the notes are about. I'm debating if they're from Red's perspective, or the Doctor's perspective, or maybe both. But they basically sum up the thoughts of someone. I'm thinking it's Red, because it says a little girl, which sounds like something like Red sees Anna or something like that. Um, and was ready for the crime she was about to commit, which is technically murder. Uh, but yeah, a short little sweet game. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of Hello, Hello. I think this game came out in 2014 originally. It has a new release. I don't know what the differences are between them, because I never played the original. But I enjoyed it. Simple plot. Not too convoluted or anything. Very much works what it's trying to do. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Dear Red. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.